what just happened? There has been some sort of an explosion. I just realized that the other patients are still trapped in the building. I need to get them- Marla, no. You can't go back in there. It's too dangerous. I don't care. Come on. Let's get out of here before the whole world. What the hell was that? No, Please check if Donnie is breathing. Well, there are no signs of him breathing. He's gone. I oh. Donnie? <laughs> he was my friend. I'm going to miss him. Marla, calm down. Although Donnie is dead, I'm sure we will never forget him. A um, child, identified as Pixie Walker, the mayor's biological daughter, has been seriously injured and also suffered from smoke inhalation, and she is currently treated at another hospital where she has fallen into a coma. If she dies, I will resign. Why do you want to do that? I mean, why do you want to resign just because your biological daughter may potentially die? Look, I do believe that Pixie may have been caught up in many crimes over the recent days or weeks. We were relieved that we weren't caught in the last second. Well, I'm glad that you guys survived, but unfortunately I can't say the same for Ryland. He's dead. Because Ryland is dead, I think we have another plan to discuss. And long is it? We have to kill Finn in retaliation for not going to prison. This is suspicious. There appears to be money in the chest and also a paper with words in it. I can only let you move out of Castle Bush until you give me one reason, and you need some explaining to do. What did you do, Henry? David, listen. I haven't even done anything to- Oh my god, what the hell are you talking about? I know what you did. I know you were the one that is responsible for harming Henry. Sir. Don't you dare talk to me, you crazy bitch. I don't want to listen- Let me finish. As I was saying, Henry Baker was killed in an explosion several days ago and you can't just try to prevent these two people from moving out from Castle Bush. Well, what do you mean Henry is dead? Did you kill- Look, I did not kill Henry, okay? Besides, I did not have the right to commit a murder against him. Alright, I admit it. I really did kill Henry. I had to do it because, well, because he is a monster. What did you say? Hey, hey, hey. Stop arguing. Listen, this woman started it. She killed my boss and she has committed one of the biggest mistakes she has ever made in her life. Look, can you please just shut up? I love Grace as much as she loves Henry. And I have to admit that Henry deserved to die for trying to ruin Castle Bush. Now I'm really going to kill- Humberto, I have just received a phone call from the hospital about Pixie. Um, how is she doing? Well, it's fortunate to say that Pixie has woken up from a coma and she can respond. Oh, thank God. I mean, I thought that she was going to die. However, Pixie hasn't been recovered just yet. She is still treated at the hospital and it is uncertain when will she recover. What? I mean, this is ridiculous. I am so going to get Pixie out of the hospital. Look, you can't do that, okay? If you try freeing Pixie from the hospital, you will be in trouble and your mayoral leadership could even be put into jeopardy. You don't understand. Pixie was one of the greatest rabbits I have ever owned in my life, and I don't want to lose her. Listen, can you please just calm down already? Pixie will be fine and you can't just be way too angry about it. I swear, if David tries to harm Pixie in the hospital, I'll kill- uh -huh. Alright, you know what Humberto, I have to go, and you should better calm down from this disaster. David, please, don't kill him. I love him. And? And what? Do you really think that you have been planning to kill my boss the entire time? Exactly. And I had worked with him ever since, but now I am no longer supporting Henry because he tried to ruin everything. You're out of the line. 
You are to blame for killing Henry and I hope they can get to see you being locked up in prison. I don't think so. We are going to pack our bags, hop in the taxi, and then move out from this settlement for good. And don't you dare prevent us from doing this. Don't you even think about it. I forbid that and I will never, and ever, and ever let you move out until you give me one truth. Come on. Just tell me the truth. Just one. Why did you plan to kill my boss the entire time? Get in the taxi. Now. Hey! Grace, please go faster. Look, I can't. I can't go faster enough and David is even chasing after us. What the hell are we supposed to do now? Are you okay, sir? Yeah, I guess so. I had no idea what just happened. Please, help! We are gonna die here. Hang in there, I must find a way how I can get you out of the car. Wait, I smell petrol. Get back. Come on! Thank you everyone for coming, we are all gathered here to bid farewell to one of our colleagues, Donny Jamison. Ever since he was born, he always dreamed of becoming a doctor when he got a chance to meet one of his favorite doctors, Dr. Bradley Perkins Anderton. However, when he was born, he lived in Australia and was born to Australian parents, Mr. John and Mrs. Amber Jamison. He even owned a pet kangaroo to which got taken away by a framer who claims he owns it and he didn't bring the kangaroo with him when he moved to Castle Bush. Donnie had once been involved in an accident when he, if I have my memories correct, fell off a window and later caused his legs to be paralyzed, but there exists a medicine that helps Donnie's legs recover, which later worked. Although his full recuperation didn't occur immediately, he did recover day by day. However, when the hospital blew up, he was crushed by falling debris, and has therefore lost his life. Excuse me, am I interrupting? No, not at all. I'm just delivering a speech to the funeral attendees. Why, is there a problem? Before I say a few words, I just want to say that I would like to apologize for the timing. And I have just received some words from one of my colleagues about a car explosion, where two people were killed. I will show you the sign just to reveal who really died. Stop. Don't move. I know where you're going, and you are not going anywhere. Sir, please, put that gun away from me right now. Why? When my wife was murdered by that stupid creature and you planned this out the whole time- Oh my god how many times do I have to tell you this? I did not, killed your wife. It was Rylan who done that and you can't just falsely accuse me of- You're lying! Finn what is happening? Chelsea please call the cops. This mentally ill man is trying to- What the hell did you just say to me? Hey hey hey. What is going on here? This guy is holding Finn at gunpoint and I don't know what he will do to him. Listen, let's just talk about this. You prosecuted me and I won the case against you. And I hope you understood the fact that Rylan killed your wife and you can't just point a gun at me like that despite having proof that I wasn't the killer in the first place. Please. Just put that gun away from me and acknowledge the truth. Alright, you know what? I am getting sick and tired from all of this lying crap, and you know what? It's time to end this. What do you mean it's time to end this? I mean, what are you going to do, kill me or something? Be silent! And you know what Finn? You know what? For constantly lying to me, I am sentencing you to death and you will be sorry for everything. You had it coming, Finn. The police killed Rylan and now I'm getting exactly what I wanted. If you'd want to apologize for lying, say so- Police drop the weapon. Alex Baylock, I have ordered you an arrest over the attempted execution of Finn Crockett. You will appear in court tomorrow and you have to explain what you did. Now come with me. God damn it. Alright, you win.
But I'll be back. So, how's Pixie? Well, I just spoke to the vice mayor's husband, and he said that Pixie was involved in an explosion at the hospital, and she even fell into a coma as a result. What? Oh my gosh! Did Pixie recover yet? Well, no signs as yet, and I'm also worried that Pixie's life could be in danger again, and I don't want these idiotic gangsters to harm my daughter. What do you mean? I mean, I had a fear of David for many days now and I'm concerned about what will he do next. Antonio, calm down. Pixie will be fine and hopefully nothing worse will happen to her. Yeah, but are you sure that Pixie will be fine? Yes, of course. However, we need to stop talking about this for now because we talked about this like way too many times. So, is there anything about Kyle and Grace's of lately? Well a police golem interrupted Donnie's memorial service when he showed a sign which reads, R.I.P. Kyle and Grace, and I'm only speculating that they may have died following a car accident. Speaking of which, Kyle and Grace were both chased by David, according to an eyewitness of the explosion, and the car later flew to a house which then caused the petrol to leak and then blowing up, and eventually killed Kyle and Grace who failed to make Ad alive. I actually recognize Grace because she was responsible for blowing up the hospital. Wait a minute, how did you actually know that Grace blew up the hospital? Well according to the police, Grace placed numerous bombs in the recovery room where Henry Baker is being treated, which then caused it to blow up and later killing Henry who was inside- Oh wait a minute. If Laura was inside of the hospital where it blew up, could she be dead too? Edward will you please just calm down, Laura? is not dead. I am not even sure where she was and I don't know what happened to her. Alright, let me reassure you that Laura is still alive. She's fine, and she wasn't hurt, and she's in another hospital being treated. But I thought you said that Laura was treated at the Heart Center Hospital where it blew up. Well yeah, but after the hospital blew up, Laura was forced to move to another hospital where she could be treated, and I currently don't know when will she recover. Oh there you are Finn. What are you doing outside? I'm just getting some fresh air after all of this. I mean, that guy nearly killed me because of the trial. What trial? About the murder of a customer despite having proof that you didn't kill her? Exactly, and I have to admit that I wasn't the murderer, but that guy didn't know it. Listen, calm down. That guy is arrested now. Hopefully he won't do something like this again. Hi guys. How's everything going? Just fine. I'm just talking to Marceline about the dude who got arrested. Are you talking about the murdered customer's husband? Exactly. I mean, I didn't even get it why he prosecuted me in the first place despite having no evidence that I murdered his wife. And we have to stop talking about this crime. Yeah, but have you guys ever heard about the ominous stalker known as Andre Jackson? Andre Jackson? Who the heck is Andre? Well, he is the son of Dylan who is notorious for stalking many women in the past few years. And he was once arrested for brutally murdering his friends. I didn't know that Dylan had a son. I mean, Dylan is a notorious criminal who tries to treat himself like anybody gangsters out there in this settlement. Yeah, but what does this have to do with Andre, basically? Guys, please pay attention to me because the words I'm going to speak out about are not very good. Andre is planning to do something extremely vicious and I don't know what he is going to do. Oh god no 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 no. What is Andre going to do? Trying to blow up the waterfall or something? Look I don't know. And if Andre tries to harm us, we will be in danger.